everyone, we're going to go a little deeper with this background. And we're going to play with what's already there. So what I have over here on the right side would be my water, clean water. And I've got a number six or eight brush. And I'm just going to kind of clean up maybe where I didn't get exactly what I wanted. We're going to deepen up, deepen some of these areas while we lift others. Like these places where the sparkle got lost. I'm going to just lift out a little. I'm softening and blending. And this is what I do in between every rhythm. I'm keeping an eye on that photo up there because what it does, it's the photo of the pink lady. It's giving me a perspective. And it's also giving me the values. So to deepen this pink, I'm going to add a little bit of green, which will neutralize it. So I'm just looking at that photo and I'm just dropping in places that I think could really frame in what we're trying to do. I'm still trying to be very soft. And my values are very close together. You know, if you want to be painterly, keep your values close together, which means that this value is very close to the pink. I'm also connecting colors, values, while I build. So because this area is just a little darker, I'm neutralizing it by going a little darker. I may add a little more of my Opera Permanent Rose Mix to even go darker. I'm trying to suggest and imply. Those are just the best words for what we want to do, which is to allow the image to emerge. My recipes are still the same, but you can see I just went a little more Viridian right there. So I am creating this tree line.
I'm keeping my eye on the values, honestly. So what's going on? And softening as I go. All right, I'm going to take the bigger brush, my number 12 or 14. The, the numbers are worn off. And I'm just going to darken up in here. So these are the indications of trees, but you know, when this is finished, it could be the indication of anything. It does feel wooded to me. And do you see that little bit of orange uh, that was created with the paint? And I like it. Remember, you don't want everything going vertical, and when you can, grab some of those horizontals. great thing about all this is if you feel that you've made a mistake, you know a little bit of water would just wash this out. Water is your eraser. We're framing in with just a little bit of a darker value down here around the flower. Some of this will need to come out. Because if you squint, you're gonna see that this is darker in value. And when I squint, I'm hoping to see what I need to see in value.
have a clean brush right now and I'm just softening anything that got just a little too uncomfortably bold, knowing that I can go back in here after it dries. Now, I don't want to turn this into mud. I just want to keep this kind of neutral. I'm going back to get a little bit of the pink. just to keep it nice and bright. I can neutralize this at any point, but right now I'm enjoying this pink. Okay. A little bit of green right here. And we're going to call it up quits with that little bit of a development. Although I'm going back in, everyone. <laughs> Just a little neutral right in here. And here. Okay, let's be done with that. 